Yeah, oh. I finished 20, and I started on uh, 11, Lily White Lilith. Oh, that's beautiful, that is. Yeah, I just, I actually just finished the boat map. The boat map. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I got, I got the 100% on that one. That was, that was a, little a little contentious at the time, but it, it serves as a good, like, middle of the set braver, change of scenery kind of thing, but yeah, it was a little bit contentious at the time, but... No. Oh yeah, it's a, it's an idea. I mean, it definitely has a. It's very certainly an idea. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, it's not too bad. Not too bad. Yeah, the one, the one that came after it. Uh, I had the page pulled up when I was, because when I'm doing the the voiceovers, I'm uh, giving the proper, the proper credit. Uh, where was it? If was it? Memory serves me correctly. The one after the boat map is one of Scrangus's maps. I think that might it have feels even like been a the, map. that might have even been the demo map. I want to say for that resource pack. Really large hallways. It's very um, yeah. It's a, a big scale. A big scale. The big open area with the um. It has a really crazy um. Uh, has, well, you have this massive outdoor section, a yes. giant uh, lake with a blue armor that I'm, I was trying to figure out how to get to it. Oh, yeah, I've only um, figured it out once, and I had to look at it in the editor to see how. I, I, yeah, still, I, I still I forget all the how enemies, to do it half the time. But yeah, I still got three, three secrets to find, so I, I had to scrap that recording. Scrangus, he loves environments, man. He likes... He'd be perfectly happy to make a map without any combat. Right. Around that time, he was more like that, but he's gotten really good with his combat lately and the way he lays it out. But he would be perfectly content to make a big map like that without any combat. And I reckon one day, me and Scrang, we might just make a joint effort, some kind of... Try to make a monster combatless map kind of fun. And playable and just a nice environment it, yeah. to wander in you know maybe pick up some clue I mean it's been done occasionally in Doom before pick up some items to unlock some shit like I don't know kind of like a what do they call those kind of games like an RPG uh, I always end up calling them walking simulators <laughs> I mean but I'd, I'd want to take advantage of the do movement and speed and launch off things and jump on things without having like jump set or anything like that like just your normal uh, horizontal do movement maybe maybe instead of combat it could have like environmental hazards like you get in platform games like like fucking piranha yeah, plants that it. fucking shoot fireballs or you know stationary fireball monsters or some shit where you gotta run like an obstacle course oh, what? like Mario uh, or some they, shit you know yeah that that lends itself to like puzzle gameplay really really well yeah there was there was one there was um it's a it's a puzzle game it wasn't Portal but it was one that had, it was really good looking let me actually um yeah, the whole point of it was to solve these puzzles, gather up uh, scraps of a storyline, put it all together. Is that really? I want to keep. I keep thinking it's like the Atlas Project, but that's not it. I think something like that. You pick up like half a dozen or a dozen items, and then you know, using Doom's mechanics to unlock the next part of the progress or whatever. I don't know. I don't know, that's something to think about when we come to it. How to make that shit fun in Doom. But anyway, alright, so the first the first thing I'm going to do on the playing list, I'm going to be testing Turf War in Casablanca, which is Bear in the Woods, DBP 33 effort. Now, how final is this map, Bear? How far along? Is it finished, finished, or close to finish? Uh, I'd call it a... 0 0.7 a 0 0.7 I'm not quite there yet but it's uh is it's there starting an exit to start yes so I can it's, finish it's completable this. I can complete it beautiful it can be 100%ed 
or I should be more correct, it can be completed, but will I? Will, will, will be remains to be seen. <laughs> uh, I'm a bit rusty at yeah, the moment. I'm, I'm a bit rusty, but let's see. I haven't had too much to drink yet. I might surprise myself. But I'm going to fire no, it up. As, do you have any custom word, music? Nothing expressly broken. Do you have any custom music? Yes. It's in the one? Yep, should be in there. Plays on map one? Yes. Well, then I'm Map ready one. to click launch. Let's do this shit. All right, Turf War in Casablanca. Here we go. I think the majority of what the work I have left is detailing and getting the combat a little bit finer tuned. Because um. uh, I slapped in a lot of enemies. 299 of them, in fact. might turn it down a bit just because we're talking. I tend to have my sound, not the best, but... Okay, so what track have we gone with, Bear? What am I listening to, man? That is uh, Frank Sinatra, uh, There's Those Rainy Days Again. Now, I haven't loaded up any of DBP33. I've only seen some screenshots by your good self. All right. So I know it's the kind of noir kind of thing, so... A lot of potential with that kind of colour scheme. Let's see how we go. Nice and peaceful so far at the beginning. Yeah, there's a broken texture over there. Um, In the on tower? The, on the clock tower. Yeah, yeah, that's what I was looking at. <laughs> Actually, while I'm here, what is up with these zombie men sprites? They look kind of low quality. Uh, they look like commandos. No, but the quality of them, like, yeah, they they don't look too quality. There's so. varying levels of quality in this resource pack. Interesting. So hang on, you telling me you're making me go for these hit scanners? With no armor. No weapons. Yeah, you can get a shotgun. Yeah, but no armor, man. Hit scan. Come on. Yeah. Man. You need to put an armor in there. Look, you got a hit scanner was... fight. You got a hit scanner fight going on. Uh no one wants to die like that over and over and play that over at the beginning of a buddy map. That's like... Yeah, I'll probably put one on the dock right at the spawn. I, I think just in here, this section, this is an armor here. It's not an armor for the whole map or to carry you along your journey. It's an armor for this particular fight, so it should be in there. What I'm looking at now. I don't know if you're how far behind the, uh, the stream is, but... I just like put it right in front of the switch. I wouldn't put it... Yeah, yeah, I'd put it in here, but maybe a bit further forward, like... Give some spacing, you know? Give some spacing. I think I get what you mean. Yeah. Sort of in the middle of it or something, you know? Because can be pretty luck-based. You know? They can be very luck-based if they rape you or not, you know? I don't know, I think just here, just like here in the middle. Just on the way up. Just before the middle. It'll look good when you're looking in towards it. Rather than just a switch. Like, everyone's going, alright, something's going to happen when I press this switch. Alright. Maybe I'll do that instead. Just uh, yeah. get rid of the switch and then when you walk over the armor, it just drops everything. That's always nice too. It's always nice too. Now, I like this sort of being able to get up a lift and jump around. Oh, that's a nice early easy secret. Rewards exploration. Good choice. Well, and it's repeatable. Very good. Oh, that open too, I can hear it. No 
have a good early secret. It's a punch of trash. <laughs> yeah. Do you Could notice how right some of it's, it's uh, do you notice how some of it's bleeding through the wall? Yeah. On the sides? Maybe you don't need that much or you just need to move them over a bit, man. Beautiful. That's partially the reason why I resisted putting a green armor in there because the red armor right after it, but... Well, yeah, that makes sense. You could always uh, change the... Because uh... you really need that armor first. And from what I can gather, you can't get the armor before going in there. So... I don't know. That's a good secret. Maybe it could be just be a different item. Maybe like a early... I don't, I don't know how the fights are going to come straight away from here, but maybe an early SSG or something. Nothing too big, because it is quite quite easy to get that secret, I reckon. It's an obvious way to get that, that chain gun. Because it looks like I need it here. Uh, the, um, the lever for the the first fight drops those walls. Ah, uh, okay. in general is pretty low intensity and then I was like oh yeah there's about a billion flying imps what the ones flying in from the distance yeah since uh got these blocking, blocking lines, the, these imps become kind of impotent after you sort of finish everything off. And it's kind of a grind just sort of to uh, finish off the rest of it. wondering if you can unblock something like it's good when you make monsters follow the player around and punish like oh, they can get over that side at least no that's good no, that's good yeah I mean they do get out of the harbor oh that's good I didn't think they were gonna for some reason but there they are you're telling me I got no ammo left there is that what you're saying, bro? Yeah, I need to put some more on. Yeah, well, <laughs> when I, well, yeah, I need to not, I not, need to not tune it for my. Yeah, my you mind. need to like. Yeah, you need to. Try to put just enough red in there that you know, the map isn't completely boring. I think it's pretty good so far. What like these kind of hints? This is sort of what should be going on. I think. I'm 
resurrect him, man. I'm dying of loss of ammo. <laughs> I'm gonna have to break it. Yeah. So, what's the go with this missing texture? Or is it a missing texture? It looks fine in the editor, but it's completely missing in game. Yeah. So, I don't know if it's a bad reference. There's a couple of textures that aren't, that don't actually match up with what they display in the editor. It's so far, I'd say. I'm not going to talk about the scale, because you, you know it's big, but you're missing a distinct lack of things to pick up that would, like, spruce the place up a bit more, you know? I'm not talking about all those rockets up there, too. Uh, you could, like, spread this ammo out over the area a bit better, instead of just in one spot. I feel like we've talked about this before. <laughs> Not just dumping a bunch of ammo in one spot. Yeah, I, I need to get... Maybe the amount of ammo you got there could be fine, but you could break it up in the clips, or maybe... Alright, so you had like 200 uh, clips there, for example. You could break it up with a couple of boxes here, and then spruce maybe 10 clips around the place in various spots. Still keep 200, and the same with the shells as well. Right. At the moment, I'm going to have to tell you, this is like... It's more like a shooting gallery at your, your leisure. When you do big space like this, unless it's a fucking slaughter map, there's no challenge. I just have to say. The only challenge is from losing concentration because there's no challenge. <laughs> you know? There's no enemy pressure, placement pressure. I don't know how we're going to tie you down to just make a small map <laughs> once I get that finished, bro. I don't know. The bear is too wild. It cannot be tamed. I, I like large areas. Yeah, yeah, but I'm oh, going to make... No. The make large areas yeah. work is fucking hard. <laughs> In fact, that map you were talking about, Ascrangus and Lily White Lilith, this was a lot of the conjecture in that map as well. Some of the points were brought up during development. I don't know, this is a bit too big, you know. But it seems to have things to do at every stage of it. Like, there is some big architecture, but there are things to do at every stage of that map. Like, a different way to go, something to pick up. The enemies engage you in a challenging manner. I probably need to cut like a third of this street down and squeeze it all together. I don't know. So when you go for the realistic option, right, you know, uh, and you make things realistic, you sort of, you're making the street, right? You're making the buildings. But it's just not lending itself to the gameplay, you know? It's like to Doom, to what Doom does good. You, 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 yeah. Yeah. You could keep this what you got, right? If I did something like this and it was at this stage, I'd be going, fuck. I wouldn't be cutting shit down because I hate cutting shit down. <laughs> I might cut down a root or two, but I would maybe put some... I'd start thinking abstractly and start saying to fuck with the realism and realistic looks. Let's put some doom abstract in, like a bunch of fucking walls here platforms of different heights maybe a different self-contained section within here like yeah there are ways to do it but it can also be a lot of hard work too and fiddly stuff which if you just restrain yourself a bit more you wouldn't have have to do all that but Just thinking about what I can do to kind of bring everything together. Other than just putting a wall down the middle of the street. Yeah. yeah it's, you know, it's not optimal, but it might be a way to go. And a way to force a flow. I mean, that's... 
Well, you haven't played my DBP 27 map, but that's what essentially it is. There's sort of three sections, and there is a great big wall down the street of the skies as a kind of toll booth. And they open up when you sort of access those areas and make the map more open later on, but again I just like the the I like the look of the um the that center section and the street. I oh, know it looks good, but firm. you gotta make it play good man. You gotta justify your good looking shit. Good looking shit for the sake of good looks it doesn't cut it. Yeah. You gotta justify it. Otherwise it's better to make an ugly map that plays real good, you know? It's far better to make an ugly map that plays good than something good and there's nothing happening, you know? Because look, Doom is the gameplay game. It's all about the gameplay that sort of kept everyone here. It's, if people want shit that really looks good, they go and play something else. Like, I feel there's just sort of monsters here just for the fuck of it, like... I mean, I, I, I can ignore them, I guess, like I'm doing now. And I'm gonna play like that just to show you, because there's nothing pressuring me, and... I, I can't see ammo around, and if I, I want to just spend my ammo on this thing that's not killing me at the moment... <laughs> Good mix of colours this area. Have you released this one yet? Bear, are you there? Are you? Have you released this map? Off. Have you released yeah. this map? No, not yet. No, you might. Maybe you should, because a lot of things seem in good working order. You might be able to just get some decent, some other decent advice over there on the boards. <laughs> Especially from Joe, he's gonna... He'll be pretty blunt and <laughs> tell you this and this and that. Alright, so I got... Is that the white key? I missed it, what did it say? Yeah, it should have been on the table. Oh, the black key, you got the black key. Alright. Oh, that's right, I'm assuming. Yeah, and that's what I'm thinking, the, the wall down the middle of the street might be a good, well, maybe not a wall, maybe just like a, a building, triangle-shaped building or something, I don't know. But to funnel the player down, because you just go from one building to the next. Uh, let's not get too drastic yet, but let's just, let me get through it as a whole first, and let's see. What? How do they kill themselves? Who's that? Who killed There's supposed to be two chain gunners in there, and they all killed, killed themselves. He possibly saw me outside this window. And then maybe they were trying to shoot me and they got in the way of each other. Possible. Alright. 
I need to put a light on that switch. Yeah, that was pretty dark. I like how the rooms look though. I need to put more stuff in it. God, I wish Joe would get over his fucking stripper fucking fetish for in fucking Doom. Jesus. He doesn't even like girls. <laughs> I don't say he like boys either, I'm not saying that, I'm just saying he doesn't like girls. <laughs> Why the fuck does he put him in? Does he think he's cool or something? It's not cool, Joe. It's, it's just not fucking thing. cool. Grow up. Seeing what's going on, but nothing's really dangerous except for running out of ammo. <laughs> oh, I got a white key, I think. It's not supposed to be bright in a strip club either, but... Yeah, well... Don't put enemies that are going <laughs> to rape you because you, you can't fucking see them. <laughs> Play to your surroundings. Yeah. You know. <laughs> I need to get some more lighting effects in there. I'm debating on keeping those uh those candles those candle wassels. I don't understand why they're even in there. Come on, you come in. Come in, you're gonna be fodder. Both of these doors should open at the same time, bro. That'll help the path of your monsters outside. I mean, they're both tagged with the same sector. Uh, must be your action then. Make sure it's an S action, not a D action. In fact, try and avoid D actions as much as you can. Because it just leads, more often than not, leads to errors where the S actions don't. The doors, I mean. Like, try and avoid every d action with a D on the start of it, and use the S version. Uh, I see what you mean. Yeah. Because the D action yeah. will only work on one door, and that's the door it's against. It won't work on other doors connected, even with the same tag. It will only work on that exact door it's against. Switch. Switch. Doors will fucking work. S doors will work on a million doors at once, you know? Alright, that change has been made. You know, the monsters, they, they move in a, one way only, right? You've got to help their movement as much as possible. They're not smart.
smart, and they just track the position of the player wherever he is as the crow flies. You know, not by it doesn't know what walls and lines and architecture is. You know, it will just directly move towards the player at all times. So you got to help them out a bit. You know. Yeah. As you notice, know, they all yeah, they sort of herded it up against there, because I was inside, right? I was inside, moving around, so they just herded it over here. At least if that door also opened too, a few of them might have got caught into the tr into the net, you know? But... Was it? <laughs> I did save it. Let me go back. All right, cool. Yeah, I need to rethink some of this combat. Yeah, there's no pressure. The one place that killed me, it's because it was kind of unfair having a chain gunner like in the mix amongst all that shit. I mean, without even doing drastic shit or improving lightning, just one big thing that would affect the dynamic of that area would just be taking the chain gun area. That's it. Or change him to an imp or fucking something that ain't gonna instant kill you or some shit. It's probably a good place for a uh, mancubus, maybe. Is that the mancubus looks like a... Looks like the size of an imp or some shit that shoots mancubus balls. I don't know, I didn't notice that if, if that was the replacement, but... Maybe something like a Mancubus of that strength. Just changing the chain gun to that would just make it a bit fairer. And still tough. But here, there's nothing to keep me from not exiting the level. This, is a, this will add like 5 to 10 minutes artificially onto the length of the map. Just trying to kill everything. And I'm not one who's nuts to get 100%. So, I will exit. So there you go, dude. <laughs> there you go. All right. I think saying shit is probably much better than having it explained. Oh. I mean, it's not terrible. <laughs> <laughs> could, could be better. Could be much better. Yeah, I mean, the layout's decent enough, even for the size, it's good. Go from there, go to there, go to there. Nothing too confusing, there's nothing... You're sort of leaning into a trope already about just fucking... Everything you're doing is lowering a wall or opening something, which is... I don't know, It's there's a certain time and a place. And sometimes it's even nice to be able to pick up a key without anything happening. Not everything has to be an attached to an action. In fact, there's some players, oh, excuse me, who get turned off pretty easy when it just appears everything they do just opens a trap. Yeah. So you got to be careful. I mean, not I'm not saying none of them were dangerous and that. Like, you know, you saw me playing and I was talking my way through it, but just it like it's it just becomes obvious and there's nothing. Yeah, yeah, you just got to think about a few things. Hopefully, I've given us some tips. I mean, your shit's looking good. It's a bit over scale, but... Yeah, it's not ugly or nothing. I thought you broke up some of the colour pretty well. Like, you used the, the colour pretty well. But you got to get that gameplay down, though, man. And I don't know. I don't know. I don't think you've you've yet been yeah, able to see outside yourself yet as your as a creator. And I know it's hard, man. <laughs> like I've been there and done that, but it's hard to see outside yourself. And the way you're playing, you're playing in that one way. Uh, that's why it's real good and real important, especially at your stage of your mapping, to see what other people are just going to do naturally. It's a bunch of us dudes we've discussed it, and we try to get what's called doom logic and doom sense. Not not to say this is the one way to play, but to say the psychology of the average Doomer and what a player unknown to a map is going to do. And usually the first time they play, usually they want to attempt to survive. They don't want to die the first time they play when they don't know the map. They want to try and beat it. 
so they're not going to take as many risks as someone who knows a map a few times would. Um, when a player starts running out of ammo, like I did early on, I'm not. I'm just going to. If the monsters are so easy to avoid, like they are, I'm not going to shoot nothing because I might need that ammo later on for when I'm really in a situation. So it's all about understanding Doom psychology from another player's perspective. And there's a Doom logic, a Doom sense, and just what the fuck is a player going to do here that's other than myself? Someone who doesn't know the map. I think this is one of the, the, the first great hurdle for mappers to, to clear, is to, is to get out of their own way of thinking and looking and knowing they know the map backwards. You've almost got to pretend to not know. You know what I mean? It's hard. You made it. You know where shit is and what's going to come next. You've almost got to pretend to, you know, if I didn't know what's going to happen, what would I do? Like, th this is the first major hurdle for a Doom mapper, I reckon, that they got to clear. And that's yeah. it. Yeah. That's it. I need to get another scotch and then I'm going to take a few minutes and I'll let you ponder my punt what I've been saying I'm gonna play um Mr. Josh's map he's evolution in our group that evolution is Mr. Josh Damon uh, I'm gonna play his his TNT for, he's real big on TNT wad using TNT wad he just likes it so I'm gonna play his one map there that uses TNT wad and then I'll get into the version one maybe of dbp32 so if you want to stick around you're quite welcome to but i'll be back in five minutes I always like the company but if it's late i understand but I'm yeah, i'll be back. around for about another hour or two beautiful well, i'll be back in five just make sure my dog's not killing any neighbors or something and get some more scotch have a smoke i'll come back and do mr josh's map all right I'll be back soon bear all right And go grab another drink myself.
you there, Bear? Yeah. yeah. I'm glad you didn't kill Got me too much, to actually. Me. I have to say, that, that was nice and relaxing to sort of warm up to, actually. It's been hard to... I'm working my ass off lately. It's hard to fucking... <laughs> have energy for it. I mean, and the weather the is so, going for it too. My weather is the total it. opposite of yours, bro. It has just been glorious. Like the summer's been pretty iffy here and we've just it's Friday Arvo now. We've just had like thirty degrees and sunny every fucking day this week. It's been glorious. It's been hard to motivate myself to sit down, but I've had enough of the pool this week so I will come and play some doom. <laughs> Especially since I got the house to myself tonight. Why not? All right, now let's see what Mr. Josh has got for us. I actually noticed Grangus done a couple of streaming in the last couple of days, and he actually streamed this. I just noticed this just now when I was setting up my shit. I'm like, oh, he's already given this a bit of a whack already. I don't know if Grangus actually talks when he streams, though. I think he just plays. Alright, so this is called Fool's Penance. It runs on TNT, WOD. Uh, and I'm assuming that's why Mr. Josh calls himself Evolution in our little group over there, because he loves TNT. He's a big TNT head, so let's see what he's got for us. You know what, of all the Doom, all the official Doom WODs, Evolution and TNT are just. Or, yeah, TNT and uh, Plutonia, I just can't get, I can't get into it. I can't, I couldn't get into TNT. I, I finished Plutonia once, but I never, I like Plutonia too a lot though. I like that much more. Um, Evolution, I got to like map 17 or 18, I'm like, nah, fuck this. I'm sort of happy I did, I heard it doesn't really get better. But, this is nice and clean from Josh, I'll notice there's a new weapon I'm looking at. Um, from what I saw in his post, it's an SMG, and I'm, and Bill actually helped a bit with the de-hacked. We had a, just some little uh, de-hack tweaking to make it work, so I'm going to press it and see what it does. Oh, nice. It is a proper semi-automatic kind of feel. Nice and controlled, faster rate than a pistol. But that can be fun. He's got some nice clean shit going on. That's a nice fucking sofa and table. Some nice clean details with the iWod textures. I dig it. That was unexpected. It definitely looks like it goes right home with the TNT. Like the, the textures and the construction. I'm assuming that's what Josh jigs about it like. Oh, nice. Yeah, that, that is one thing about TNT. Like, it, it has a really solid visual style. I appreciate that much. I appreciate that he does stuff a bit more cleaner. I like that actually. I like a little touch like that. Walk past the switch and it disappears like that. It's kind of. I, I like little shit like that. I haven't got any TNT save games. Of course not. I don't play it. <laughs> the first. <laughs>
a good run with ammo today. Oh, now that's lethal. <laughs> that's lethal. How am I going to pull that off? Nothing. I don't even have the weapon for it. I need them to kill each other somehow. Just one. Oh, damn. That's rough. <laughs> it is pretty rough. Oh, if I had just a little bit of, of uh, like, cell ammo. If I had just a little bit of, I mean, sh uh, uh, clips. I would have been able to take out one or two and grab a weapon. I think I'm in a pretty screwed position. Ooh, there's a shotgun. Oh, some health. Oh, that's good. Alright, now might be in the game. TNT is a pretty hit scanny kind of wad, isn't it? Like, there's a lot of hit scan play. Yeah, that's Sergeant's part of the reason why it has the reputation it does. Yeah. and Plutonia are very hostile. Yeah, but you can they're, characterize they're Plutonia with chain guns or chain gunners. <laughs> yeah. I mean, TNT's more shot, shotgunner orientated. I think. This is like chain gunners and revenants. You yeah. can't escape. Chain gunners, arch walls, and revenants. TNT has some really fucking groovy music though, I have to say. You know, I have to admit, right, that I hate these Doom 2 textures, like like this green, grimy brick wall. Like, I hate them. I hate using them. I, I, I can't bring myself to use them at all. But when someone uses it like this, I appreciate it a lot, actually. I like it. I, I hate using it myself, though. I'm not a big fan of the Doom 2 textures at all. That's the classic Doom lift. That's nice. Where you just step back and yeah. bring enemies up to you. That's good, I like it. I have to say, apart from that shotgunner trap where I had no fucking like ammo to deal with the situation, it's flowing pretty well so far this month. Yeah, it's definitely, definitely giving you a lot more ammo to work with. Yeah, I just heaps of ammo now.
this is what I need to do. What's that, bro? My. Let me get these tighter, tighter spaces with the tomato wave. Oh yeah. It's just pressure, like if you keep moving, as long as you can hurt them properly. I just love my big wide open spaces. I know, bro, but you love them, but I don't know. I got, I got to divorce them. There are ways to make them tougher. You might have to. Uh, if you want to go that kind of... Ooh, here we go. If you want to go that route of wide open spaces, I would suggest playing that DBP27 map of mine. Just to get an example of what kind of gameplay sort of works for a big wide open space. Too much ammo, just enough to make that fight just a little easier. That's good balance. Good stuff. I'm thinking this is a little sped up too, this more automatic version. Sounds yeah, sped up at, that, at least. Chain gun replacement. I don't know if it's just the sound or if it's just the uh Nothing, nothing happened. Awesome. I think in that red key is like a secret red key. And you can't get the rocket launcher unless you secret. Which is a pretty cool choice as well. Provided I really don't need the rocket launcher just to make shit a bit easier. Alright. So this switch has opened something else. So I gotta deal with these guys. Quite a look soon.
force right now. This teleport is facing the wrong direction. Yeah. That's a pretty old school doomy thing too. Now I sort of ducked out of where the red key was. Yeah, I didn't see you pick it up. I picked it up, but all the monsters in that area sort of were pretty easy to avoid unless I come across them later. map some kind of writing? Miss... I miss you. The map spells <laughs> I miss you. I miss you too, it's Mr. Actually, Josh. But we see each other almost every day, bro. <laughs> I wonder what that refers to. Notice this area look like a letter, and I I'll just have to check. I miss you. Curious. Uh, the beauty of it, though, until I got to this, the map doesn't resemble like someone's just written sector letters. It actually looks like a proper layout. There's some creative ways to achieve some decent spaces sometimes. Alright, it's back over here. Let's start. Uh, back to where I was. And, oh no, not there.
got some fast paces, man. say about that early part with the shotgunners, but the rest of this is basically flawless. This is fucking flowing. Where's the next way forward?
that was a plasma usage, not in the because of the difficulty of the opposition, but just in the type of opposition. And they're just gonna hit scan you, and you need to kill them dead quick. suspicious but I'm sure I saw exit signs somewhere else Secret? I'm sure I saw an exit sign somewhere else in the map. Maybe this isn't the exit. Of
<laughs> World's worst vulnerability usage. I dig it. I dig it. Not fucking bad at all, Mr. Josh. Awesome. You still with me, Bear? You surviving, bro? You there, Bear? I can see you, but I can't hear. If you can hear me, I'm just going to have another quick break, and I'm about to start DBP uh, 32 again soon, about five minutes.
bear, are you there, bro? 